Them for them want to see me fall and die But you're not see me, not see me, not see me, not see me Cut it up and die C.I. Rise catapulted Mr. Program to national popularity in mid-2008. He released several other songs over the years. And although those didn't quite take off, C.I. Rise was enough to cement his name in music in Belize. But for over a decade, he was peddling his CD, promoting his music. He was a talented artist who struggled to make it big. And although he had to hustle hard, he never gave up. For the past two years, he was working with producer Devin Perfeet, to make a comeback with some dance hall and reggae music. In recent months, he was hitting the studio consistently. We were supposed to do videos, you know, and you know, like, like we just worked in the studio. Apart from the music, you know, we would, you know, chill in the studio, talk about other stuff besides music, you know, trying to see how we could get, you know, this, like take the music and get it outside, you know. So, you know, that was it, that like he just wanted to do music, you know, that like he wanted to, Whatever he had, well, he actually wanted a second chance, I'm actually say, you know, because people had started looking down on him as like, you know, like a joke, like, oh, he's selling the same CDs from 10 years ago, you know, and that never stopped him, you know. So when we linked up, he was like, let's, let's, let's make five songs, put it on a CD, and, and I could sell 10,000 of those, you know, and I told him I was going to do that. I actually promised him, like, last week when we were together that I was going to print um, a top series of the music that we're working on now so he could sell but you know, unfortunately we're not going to be able to do that. Perfit plans to release the music and help Alamia's family with the proceeds. The music that we have, I already spoke to Victor who is his cousin and um, we're going to you know, proceed with the project that we're working on and I already made a pledge to him, to him and his family that we're going to donate, well not donate but give them 100% of the proceedings from the music, like everything is going to be for them. You know, um, me and Kareem spoke just now. Um, he's also going to be contributing towards whatever, and and a few other people have reached out as well. The 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 songs spoke about life and celebrating life and you know stuff like that, and it hit me different. Then I was like, okay, damn, he's gone now, and his music was saying this, you know. So, like, those are the type of music that we recorded. He, um, we also have like part of the songs, um. His cousin have a few more you know, girls songs, but the music that me and him did was like I usually let artists say what they feel or what they do, you know. And some of the music that he recorded for me was just about life, you know, hustling and you know, get stuff like try to make a better life out of this situation. And Perfit says that Mr. Program's talent was undeniable, and perhaps his biggest hit is still ahead of him. To me, you know, and I'm sure for others, Mr. Program is a legend in Belize. Um, it's crazy because I work closer with the conscience manager, right? And conscience manager, um, I posted a clip on Instagram and he was like, yo, this guy sound, you know, just like conscience, but in a good way, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, so we spoke and he was like, yo, like you gotta, you know, so I was telling him that, oh, I'm working with him. I'm trying to get him, you know, back on the scene and whatever, like I get pictures and all that. And um, so we spoke and he was like, yo, you know, like try to help him, see what you could do for him and stuff like that. So his music to me, his voice is powerful, you know, like despite whatever image, his voice is mm -hmm. powerful and that's, you know, that's music, you know, um, like anytime I send him a beat, like, you know, like no problem, he would have sent it back right away with, with projects. He was, you know, he was focusing, he was, he was ready to, to, to take, you know, to take over again and to do it right this time, you know, like he wanted to get it right, like he had all his credentials in order, you know, to collect his royalties from music. And um, I just felt like it came at the worst possible time at a time where he needed, you know, like where he was about to like get everything in order, you know. And like I said, that is, you know, that is that, um, no matter when it comes, it's a bad time. But at this moment, you know, he was working with other, you know, um, producers and he, he was working with local producers, Jamaican producers. And, you know, and it's, it, it, it's sad because, you know, he, 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 he was about to get back in the scene and you know what he do. I feel like there were big things on the horizon for him. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, you know. And he shared the talent everywhere. Hours before he died, he was at Kareem Musa's Caribbean Shores political office. But it's definitely sad um, to see him die, especially under these circumstances, uh, being murdered. Uh, we didn't realize last night that those would have been the final moments we'd have gotten to share with him. Um, 
it, and it was very touching because it was real. It was raw emotions he was sharing with us. The other artist that was there was sharing with us her experiences um, of how hard it is, how, how, how real the struggle is for young artists out there. So he will surely be missed. Um, definitely an artist that, like I said in my post on Facebook, I saw him rise uh, because I enjoyed his song so much. Um, and, and I'm so glad that he did that final remake for me. A talent gone too soon, cut by the very violence he condemned, but he will be remembered for his talent and passion for music. His music a part of his life, what he went through in life. He bring that out in music so people could hear, but he bring it positively. Everything was positive he bring out. Even with he dead now, for his music, will forever live on because he made it talk to the people about this from the... He made a vision on this before it even happened. Reporting from News 5, Amandra Polanco.